What's going on guys? Welcome back to the after credit scene. We are talking predictions for episode five of Miss Marvel. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel, then hit the notification bell. So when we drop new content, you'll be the first ones to know about it. Then share this sucker all across the multiverse. I've kind of got some answers for you, but I kind of don't have some answers for you. I know that's a really horrible way to start off a video, but uh, with two episodes left, there's not a whole lot that can happen that we haven't kind of already been leading up to. So let's get right into some of it. The first big one, and this is kind of where all of my theories are heading. Uh, last episode, I told you guys that uh, I thought that maybe we would get some new powers to show up. Maybe there would be some kind of teleporting thing. Uh, I couldn't really wrap my mind around how Kamala would convince her family to go to India, uh, but they were able to figure that out, and so they make their trip to Pakistan, not to India, and uh, go to Karachi uh, at her grandmother's behest, and that's how everything plays out. But the end of episode four had an excellent cliffhanger. I told you Disney loves their episode fours, and we got a little bit of uh, background with damage control, a little bit of a scene with the djinn escaping from that, and so there's a whole lot of things that we're going to talk about that really have to do with that scene in particular at the end of the episode. So, uh, I don't think that we're going to be dealing with any kind of time travel stuff here. I know a lot of episodes and things like that, uh, a lot of videos have talked about that. I don't really think that's what's going to happen. Um, and I'm going to kind of double down and say that I'm 100% accurate and, and that that's not what's going to happen here. Instead, in keeping with a lot of the things that have happened, in previous episodes, I think all the interactions with the Bangle are going to have to do with some sort of vision. I think this is probably a bigger version of that given how the interactions happened and how uh, the battle and the, the attack there uh, happened at the end of the episode. So don't think that is a time travel thing. Think it's really going to be more of a vision thing. Because of that, uh, and I don't really know, you can see kind of my questions here, I don't really know what kind of backstory we're going to get. I know we're going to get backstory, but how it happens and what happens there is anybody's guess. Um, so uh, I think it's going to be really worth it. I think there's going to be a whole lot of things that, that really kind of come together, and we kind of talked about all of these threads coming together over here. So uh, that's going to be the fun part of the episode. I'm really not sure what's going to happen there, and we'll just kind of all have to see. Um, here's where I kind of take some liberties with what's going to happen. 90% um, certain here, obviously it can't be 100% certain because it could happen in the finale. We could get some kind of cameo, we could get some kind of cliffhanger, who knows. But I think we're going to get some kind of family resolution here. We've been leading towards all this stuff with the great-grandmother and with all this backstory stuff, we're definitely going to get that. But how it plays into the grandmother, the mother, and their relationships with Kamala is anybody's guess. Um, so 90% certain here, I'm adding the trip back home into that because I think maybe we get some of that resolution and then the trip back home is where the episode ends or where things kind of wrap up. There's a whole lot that needs to happen in Karachi, but I don't think the series ends in Karachi. So um, whatever this is here, I think propels us back home. What I am not sure of, and this has to do with, it's why I kind of traded these icons here. Um, both of these, I think, have a lot to do with each other. Whatever is going on outside of the vision that Kamala is having, I think is going to be super important. Something big happens when uh, the Jin character touches her spear to Kamala's bangle. We get Kamala's side of it, but what's happening outside of that I think is going to be a big deal too. Are the Jin getting something there as well? Whatever's going on precipitates all of this stuff. So um, what's happening on the inside with Kamala is affecting the outside. What's happening on the outside is going to be affecting the inside here too. I think this is about all of the big battle you're liable to get here with Kamala and these characters. I'm taking a lot of liberties there. Obviously, 50-50 here on this because we're going into the finale. So if I'm wrong, it happens in the finale. But all of these things here are going to wrap up with what happens outside of this vision that's going on. Again, I don't think it's time travel because that would really go against some of the in-game time travel rules that we've seen. Um, if any, if it is time travel, I don't think it is. But if it is, then Kamala can't affect the future 
with whatever she does. If she does, that is in direct contradiction to the rules we discovered in Endgame, unless they find some weird, like, interdimensional Noor light loophole. And I don't think they're going to do that. Um, with Kevin Feige producing this and being heavily involved, I just don't think they break the rules, and I don't think Kevin's going to let them do that. So, vision, not time travel, and then we move on. So, um, all of these threads are going to start coming together in episode five, and then they lead right into the finale. But, again, we have a whole bunch of stuff that we got to talk about that's going to happen in episode six. And so when we get to our prediction video for episode six, it's going to be kind of a no-brainer as to what's going to happen. We're going to know who we're fighting. We're going to know what resolutions have to happen. And we're going to have all this backstory that we got over here, which is why I say 100% we're getting all the truths and all the little threads that we needed, uh, with the exception of seeing Kamala in her final costume. I think they're saving that for the end. And... I'm only 25% certain that we're going to get some kind of Episode 5 cliffhanger cameo thing. I know Episode 5 has usually been a big deal for Disney. With the rest of these series, some different things have happened, but the Loki series just went a little weird with Episode 5, and I think that's the direction we're going without some kind of crazy cameo. I think we get a lot of backstory and a lot of things that really move the story forwards and are really big twists, but I don't think we get our cameos here unless it's some, like, hero in the past that we weren't really aware of and it's some kind of really cool easter egg but episode five cameo cliffhanger no i think we get our cameos in episode six which i think if i'm predicting episode five and six already means we get a pretty awesome episode six but we have a whole 35 40 minutes to get there in episode five so um no time travel a lot of visions all the backstory What's happening outside of that vision is going to be a really big deal. And then we get a lot of wrap up here leading into a really awesome, just super hype episode six. So curious to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Check out some of our other stuff over here. We got a whole lot of content you can sink your teeth into. Subscribe, like, share this thing. And when the next one drops, we'll catch you right back here. Later, guys.